survival and lost hair at all because I just couldn't feel my legs and having seizures. Um, but yeah, just that freedom of like getting a new car and being able to go anywhere. Um, hi, my name is Talia Smith. I'm 22 years old and I come from Australia, New South Wales. I'm from a little country town called Morpeth. In 2013, I took my first um, turn, I guess you would call it, and I lost my whole feeling down the complete right hand side of my body. Then I just kind of started to get sicker and sicker as the time got on. It wasn't until we started seeing lots of doctors and specialists, I saw 27 in total, um, that we were wondering what was going on and then Lyme disease got brought to my attention and we looked into it further and we got a doctor down in Sydney and they tested and in January last year, 2015, I got my results back saying that I was positive to um, chronic Lyme disease and two co-infections, which are bacterial infections, and they were Babesia and Bartonella. But one night I got numb and it didn't return, the feeling didn't return, and I couldn't feel from my waist down. I stood up and fell straight to the ground. Um, the following night I had my first seizure, and ever since then I was having seizures every 23 to 24 hours a day. We had to go overseas to Europe, to Germany first, um, to a place called Calm and I had apheresis which is blood filtering and that was to draw out some of the lime and draw out any toxins, pesticides, inflammation etc that was in my blood that shouldn't have been there. So I had two rounds of that first and then I was flown to Serbia where I was with the head doctors from Swiss Medica and they were fantastic. They were really, really good. Um, I was very well looked after. The nurses, they were so great. I'm still in contact with them today. Um, you know, they're like friends now and um, they were lovely, lovely people. And they even provided a translator, an English translator, which was, her name was Yama and she was so lovely. Um, very kind, all of them, all the doctors, they were very kind and caring. I feel that stem cells has really aided in getting me to where I am today and um, also making me strong because after the hypothermia and all the initial treatment I had had prior to going to Swiss Medica, I was in internally, my body was in a bad way and they brought up my levels and I don't think I would be as strong as what I am now to this day without the stem cells um, because they provided you know a lot of goodness to my body and um, things that I needed that I probably wouldn't have right now if I didn't have the stem cells and um, just simple things like having energy to walk down the street or just to get up out of bed things I couldn't do like last year they really stem cells have really helped and um, I highly recommend them to anyone especially to a medica um, because not only do you get like a new body <laughs> out of the end process but you also get like new friends and um, a lot of great depth into the information about your body that you didn't know about and yeah everything is very well explained and um, yeah you're very look after, very well looked after. So I highly recommend it. You know, it is a long road. I still have a long road to go. Um, I've come a long way, that's for sure. The journey isn't over just yet. It's just about building my immunity right now and, um, you know, focusing on the future and what I want to do and, yeah, being happy and staying healthy and, yeah. Um, my insulin is slightly reduced. And as far as the Lyme disease, um, my energy level is a little bit better. Um, I'm a little bit calmer. And I actually had nerve pain in my left leg, which has been reduced. So that's good. Um, and the staff. Staff, staff. <laughs>